And mic on. Sorry, I just wanted to go back here real quick to make sure that I got uh, everything for Luca. Because I knew there was more shit she could get. Tab and suit. More uh, defense. Speed plus three. And fire guard up. And what drops when I equip this? Nothing, actually. The Aeon suit is just a better piece of armor. So who has the lowest defense otherwise? Marl. Flash mail. It's time to sell that. Oh boy, okay, there we go. <laughs> Keep the Lumen Robe, we might need that. Probably not, but it doesn't hurt to have it. Anyway, we are back with more Chrono Trigger. Uh, it's been a few days, like half a week, not like five days, no, six, six days, there we go. Because <laughs> I did Wednesday, Thursday last week, and then I was supposed to do Tuesday, Thursday this week, and I ended up flaking, because I was like, not in a good mood yesterday, so I felt that it'd be best just to push it to tonight. Though, I started on time, well, three minutes short of on time, so... At the very least, this isn't going to be a short stream. Walk when the wind dies and hide behind the trees when it blows. So yeah, now we can actually scale the cliff, because now there are trees in the way. And you could just hide behind them whenever the wind gets too strong. You still have to move forward, though, because the game does push you back actively. And yeah, if you move a little too far to the left or right, that happens. I got your favorite edge boy in the party. Yeah, he's, he's the only edge boy. He's the edgiest boy. He was kind of like... Nah, I guess, I guess not really in the context of when this game... Shit. Of when this game came out, but... I would say he was definitely one of the, like, OG edge boys... Before, like, that became, like, a big trend in all the, like, PS1, PS2 RPGs. Also, hey, how you doing? I think that's it. It's just that one room, yeah. So now we're actually in the dungeon, and this is a doozy of a dungeon, if I'm not mistaken. Been having a pretty shitty week. What about yous? Is 
that is that intentional? The, the S at, at the end of that word? Or is that just on your keyboard next to your question mark? Because American keyboards definitely do not have a uh, quick way to make an S set. It's on the same button as question mark. Oh, and um, on my keyboard, and I'm assuming most American keyboards, question mark and forward slash are the same. Uh, or backslash are the same. Uh, button. Backslash is bot is like bottom left to upper right, right? Because it's going up towards the back. Um, I'm sorry your week's been shitty. My week's been kind of meh. I, I definitely wouldn't say it's shitty, but it's not. Um, I, I just haven't been as productive as I wanted to be. Uh, magic ring. What is that? Magic plus six. Use that. Oh, Marl already has a magic ring. Well, cool then. You never quite got used to American keyboards. Um, and I honestly, like, I wasn't aware that they were so different between regions. Because, I mean, I mean, like, even, like, Japanese keyboards still have, uh, Roman letters on them. At least some of them do. I guess it's, uh, kind of just one of those things. Anyway, the reason I'm using Ayla and Edgeboy right now is because they both have text that they need to learn. Everyone else is up to their last one and hasn't learned it yet. Oh god damn it, really? Okay, so if you're if you haven't seen the last few streams, oh you just slide down that. Every time I've been streaming since the last game I did, which was Radical Dreamers, and even a few times before that during Mario RPG and Pokemon. For some reason, whatever I'm playing, like, will grind at some point. Like, it'll crackle, it'll slow down, and I don't know how to fix it. I lowered the stream settings. I closed literally everything aside from what I need to stream. And I even reset the computer a few days ago. Thinking, like, oh, maybe I just left it on in sleep mode for so long that it's just gotten, like, slow and leaky. But apparently that's not the case, because it's still happening. In fact, my computer just restarted itself last night during updates, so... I don't know. It's really depressing, and it leads me to believe that, uh... This laptop's already starting to fail out a bit. Maybe it's the Twitch dashboard? I don't use the Twitch dashboard, though. I use... I have OBS Studio open. I have the game open. And then I have a... A Microsoft Edge window open with a chat in it. And that's quite literally all I have open aside from whatever is like running in the background to make the computer run. I believe this is one road, yeah. I don't know if you go up there. Some other streamer had problems with it too. Hmm. I mean, this computer's old. This or it's not old, but it's not high end. It was given to me by my friend Mirm for free when my other one broke, and I am still super appreciative of that. But I'm really hoping that my friend follows my other friend follows through on his promise to give me his old computer this year when he replaces it, because his current computer is pretty damn top of the line. It's just that it's not built for like 4K gaming, and he really wants that so. He's saving up to replace it, and he said he'll give me his old one for free. With his uh, ultra-widescreen monitor, which might mean that I'd be able to stream uh, anything that runs with, um, oh shit, anything that runs with, like, com uh, component cables, or HDMI cables, rather. So, like, I'll be able to stream Switch games from it. That'll be pretty rad. I'm sure there'll be some kind of converter I can get. But again, if I can afford a converter, I might as well just afford a capture card. It would be nice. It's it just... It'll happen eventually, just no time soon. That's the big issue. And if this com laptop fills out before then, then I can't stream anymore. <laughs> 
So yeah, this dungeon's kind of a mess. It's uh, very maze-like, very big, and if I'm not mistaken, there are quite a few bosses on here. All of which are the same, but they're, they're not easy if you don't know how to take care of them. There it is. The only worst area was the optional one, the DS version. Yes, I agree. I've said that a bunch of times. I don't know if you've been here while I've, while I've said this, but... The DS version of Chrono Trigger was how I first experienced the game. And I felt like... I felt like if I had not known that Chrono Trigger existed at that point, I would have thought that the game was new in 2008. That's how polished and well thought out I thought it was. Excuse me. Um... But, I did not like any of the stuff that was only in the DS version. Like, the, the Dimensional Vortex, the Singing... or not the Singing Mountain, that's removed music. It is used in the DS version. The Dimensional Vortex and the, uh, the Cave of Time, or whatever the fuck it's called. Those were never really... Like, my favorite areas. Wall Ring, I believe that prevents statuses. Magic defense plus 10. Wow. Wow. Uh, you know what, though? I don't think anyone really needs it right now. Robo is the worst magic defense. That said, I do like, um... Well, let's see. The Cave of the Past was the place that's, like, it's in prehistory and 600 AD. And neither of them are fun to go through because you have to go back and forth through them a bunch of times to do some stupid fetch quest. And then the end all you get is statues of your characters. The Dimensional Vortex was a little better because it was like, here's a bunch of random maps with hard enemies on them. Enjoy trying to get through them. And it was neat because it was kind of random and there was some story related stuff that you'd get in it like it kind of confirmed some of the Chrono Trigger to Chrono Cross link. And it also ended with three unique and interesting bosses. Well, I wouldn't say unique, but they're interesting in the concept of the game. And then, after you did that, you were able to fight the Dream Devourer, which I thought was really neat. That was a cool, like, tie into Chrono Cross. Anyway, here's the first midden boss of this area. It's literally a spawn of Lavos, which I believe you need to focus on the mouth only. And yeah, that move fucks you up pretty bad. The fetch quests in the ga caves were unbearably tedious. Yeah, they were. That was definitely my least favorite part of the entire game. And I did it! <laughs> no, we want the same target. So Magus isn't actually too great with his magic here because, again, if you hit the, um... If you hit the shell at all, it does that... Spike move. Also, I just realized this party is not very good for healing. Yeah, Magus' magic are all, uh, multi-target. So according to the game, Lavos is apparently like sleeping on top of this mountain, like his his body is the mountain or something. I'm not too sure how that works out. But like this is where Lavos is after he destroys the world, and that's why there's a bunch of little spawns of him running around. Isn't he underground? I'm at See that's the thing. I don't know how he could be underground. He already sucked all the life out of the planet. So what would he be underground for? I think in terms of the game, they said he was sleeping on Death Peak, but I think maybe it is sleeping under it. Who knows? Maybe just fucked off and then dicks around in space. 
It's possible. Brave Sword. Is that for... Uh, our buddy Frogo? Yeah, it is. Two times hit for magic enemies. I honestly completely forgot that Frog gets more... Uh, weapons. I thought after the Masamune, he doesn't get anything else. Though it does end up becoming his best weapon after you've done everything. They learn some text. Once Ayla learns, like, the next two or three. Ooh, tab. Oh, no, wait, no. That was just a, a hole. Okay. I think you could just slide down here, though. Wait. Can't you? I could have swore there was a way to do that. I'm thinking that maybe... Slide into the hole, goddammit. I think that maybe, um... What the problem is, is it's just my... The, the Super Nintendo emulator I'm using. Because, again, this mostly happened during this and... Uh... I was about to say Stardust Crusaders. Uh, Radical Dreamers. Yes, Chrono is actually a JoJo spinoff. Radical Crusaders. What's been going on lately? Ow. Magus learns Dark Bomb. So it's funny that he actually... He is, um... He's a Dark Element character, yet he doesn't learn any Dark spells by default. He only has Lightning, Ice, and Fire too. He actually gets Dark Bomb afterwards. After she gets Dino Tail, I'll probably swap her out with someone that could heal better. Entire mini mess with Vinny in the Shrek costume. I must have missed that. I'm gonna be honest, I've skipped a few of his streams lately. Just because, not, like, obviously, like, he would probably say, like, oh, do whatever you want, I don't care if you don't come to my streams. Um, I've been kind of selective on what I watch from him. It's like, if the game he's playing is interesting, I'll watch it. Otherwise, I just do other stuff now. And it's like Thursday, I don't watch him regardless because I'm always watching Critical Role now. But I will watch, catch up with him the next day if it's something interesting. I saw his stream last night, I saw his stream Monday, and I saw his stream Sunday. I love how that thing just falls straight down. Out of nowhere. Excuse me. I stream right after I eat dinner, so if I burp on stream, it's because I'm full. Star Scythe. 
You know, something I feel... Like, you don't really notice it while you're playing, but you get weapon replacements really quickly in this game. Because of how, like, compressed the game is. And the fact that you pretty much get every weapon from treasure chests and stuff. So, like, there's no random drops or anything. Well, there are a few, but mostly not really. But, like, you get weapons really quickly. So, saving up for a very powerful weapon from the beginning is almost not really encouraged because you'll get a better one as soon as you get it anyway. Oh, yeah, I've heard about the GOP furry thing. God, that was a mess. So I believe that thing only does that once, as long as you don't hit a shell again. Yeah, that's a double hit. I know it, I know when that happened on, on in terms of Vinny stream that was like Friday I think or Saturday whichever one he streamed on I know he takes one of those two days off Well dark bomb is close proximity when it were from wherever you launch it and since the two enemies are connected that's pretty much as close as you can get What's this about the GOP and stuff? Uh, essentially there was a, a member of the GOP who on Twitter was like, What the hell are furries? And of course, the furry community like, blew the fuck up over that. Which thankfully it got resolved pretty quickly when they realized that this person was very shitty. Which I mean, they're part of the GOP, that should probably get that away immediately. Um, and they quickly... started turning on her, and that was pretty great. <laughs> And apparently, I missed it because I didn't watch the stream, but on Vinny's last, uh, Skyrim stream, he brought it up. Or someone brought it up to him, and he went on a thing about it. Be careful, it's slippery. Fall and you'll have to start over. Oh god, don't do that to me here. I actually have no clue what happened. I, w I was not there. I don't know what Vinny said, if anything. Oh, I mean, what he said. He obviously said something. Wait, really? She tweeted a picture of Vinny in a Shrek suit asking if that's her persona now. Oh my god. That's hilarious. Vedic Blade. Wait, is that another thing for old Frogo here? No, it isn't. That might be for, um... I was about to say Krom. I'm like, wait, why am I talking about Fire Emblem? That actually happened. What the fuck kind of world are we living in anymore? Okay, now I'm above where I started. Push the shell, climb the shell. Yeah, now I'm to the r the left or up from where I started. Uh, I believe there's another Levos spawn here, so I better make sure I'm up to speed for that. Why not Internet Explorer? Wait, what are you talking about? What did I say that... 
that, that reference that? I believe there's a harder lava spawn towards the end of this dungeon, too. Alright, so everyone now has their, aside from Magus, has their second to last ability. So 945, 809, 801, 720, 772, 226, and he's still got two more. Alright, so I could switch out Ayla now. I'll switch him out, or switch her out for Frog, actually. That's a good party. That's a good party. That's weird. It's like, see that at the top of the screen? It's like a little graphical glitch. It's like when the lava spawn comes in. It gets a little messy. Chrom is in Google Chrom. Chrome. No, no. Um, Chrom is from Fire Emblem. He's like the main character of one of the newer games, Awakening. So that's pretty clever. Don't know how that thing knew to climb a shell of that thing and how it was going to be here, but whatever. Memory cap. I believe that prevents Berserk. Oh, wait, no. Prevents lock. Okay. Ooh, and it's better than what most of them have equipped. Actually, no, I should keep that on her. Magic defense plus 10. One point better, but whatever. Oh wow, that dungeon actually was not as long as uh, it took, as, uh, as I thought it would take. I probably should have Marl for this part. You know, what his name? Yeah, yeah, I know. <clears throat> it confused me though, because I didn't realize that was the joke you were going for. So, this is the summit of Death Peak. You who fear the night and fight the coming darkness. Or you who fear the night and fight the coming of darkness. Give us your strength. Chrono. The pendant's reacting. Oh, I really should have brought Marl with me. It... it shattered. Can't be. What use was it to come so far? Despair not. Fate be not malleable. Chrono, say something. Don't ignore us. Oh, shit. The Chrono Trigger. The Guru's Time Egg. And there we all are. We're back at that instant. Also, I just I noticed it actually saves what party members you used at that point. Because I did, in fact, use Robo and Ayla. Like stone statues. Tiziri. A time freeze. I never thought it possible. Oh wow, I didn't realize Magus actually reacts to uh, Shala being there. What a pity. We weren't able to change a thing.
We'll just exchange the clone for Chrono. We've got to hurry. It's an eerie place. Let us withdraw quickly. Save the hellos for later. We've got work to do. Chrono, it's about time. How art thou feeling, Chrono? You dummy. You wouldn't believe what we had to go through for you. You mess up again, and we won't save you! While you were gone, we had a terrible time. Marl had to... and so then we... and I, I had to... Hey, you listening, Chrono? You could be so irritating sometimes! Take Chrono. Hell yeah, he's back and he's still overpowered. Huh, yes. So, looks like you were successful. No, don't thank me. I didn't do a thing. I just gave you a place to begin. If you really want to thank me, make me a member of your team. By the way, the Wings of Time has come looking for you. It seems to have a heart and mind of its own. You wish to fight Lavos, correct? Many paths lay open to you. You may use that bucket, or fly the wings of time to the day of Lavos. Or there's the Black Omen which floats in the sky above your world. Lavos is somehow connected to it. It's up to you to decide when and where to fight Lavos. By now you must realize you are the only ones who stand a chance against him. However, you will not be alone. I've had gl I've had- I've had- I've had- I've, my teeth fell out. I've had vague glimpses of events, people, and places that will empower you. In the Middle Age, a woman's sheer determination brings a forest back to life. A fugitive in the Middle Ages, Ozzy, maintains an evil hideout. There's a task to be done in the future where machinery originated. And there's a very special stone that can shine its light on each generation from the distant past to the far future. There's the ghost of a lofty knight slain by Magus in the Middle Ages who haunts the present. There's an object in the Middle Ages that sparkles like a rainbow. One of you is close to someone who needs help. Find this person. Fast. Just as you touch the lives of every fife, uh, just as you touch the lives of every life form you meet, so too will their energy strengthen you. Fail to live up to your potential and you will never win. I am sorry that I must simply witness the coming spectacle from my vantage point here. So, this game pretty much has like the coolest end game of the entire of like of like any kind of Square Enix game, because the game goes from being like a very linear path of like okay, go from this plot point to this plot point to this plot point to now suddenly here's a bunch of side quests, do as many as you want, then beat the game, and it's really interesting too because I noticed that. In terms of the plot progression... Come on, don't do this to me here while I'm trying to make a point. Uh, in terms of the plot progression... Everything is really linear up until this point as well. Not only is the story it's Not only is the game linear and like... Okay, you have to go to this spot, then you have to go to this spot... Then you have to go here, then here, then here... All the way up until Chrono coming back. Essentially, that's all linear like that. 
and it, it it makes sense in the uh, in the context of the of the like timeline too. Like, all right, Janice as a kid gets thrown to the Middle Ages, then he goes back to the antiquity or Dark Ages as Magus, and that happens because when you're there in the Dark Ages, you see Magus there as the prophet. So all the plot points up till then flow on the same timeline. Everything that was destined to happen happens. You saving Chrono is like the first major break in the timeline, which even then isn't really a break because the implication is that Chrono, the Chrono that you see die in that scene is just the clone, the doll. So up to this point, everything's linear. And now you get all these side quests that not only empower you, but most of these side quests actively change the timeline as well. Like any that take place before the future actually have an effect on the timeline that aren't there beforehand. Like this, this, like reviving this forest. As you'll see when I actually do it, it'll actually bring the forest back to life in present day, where before it's completely bare and just a desert. And I always, I, I always thought the concept of changing the timeline was pretty cool. But even, oh wow, this is still isn't as good as what I already have. But even beyond that is the fact that, like, I realize that the stuff you do at the end of the game has more of an impact on the timeline than anything you do up to this point, because everything you do up to this point is faded and already written to happen. And from this point on, any changes you make are entirely up to you. See, so yeah, we got Chrono back, though we really don't need him just yet. Anyway, uh... We got a bunch of side quests we can do now, which pretty much comprises the rest of the game. Uh, I'm trying to think of what the best one to do first would be. Probably the desert. I don't think there's anything in prehistory to do. Um. Oh yeah, Magus is Magus is very much the easiest. Yeah. Uh, the one in the future. There's two in the future. There's uh, Robo's quest, and then there's the beginning of the Sunstone quest. Uh, the Rainbow Shell is in prehistory. And that ties into... Mar that's Marl's quest, the Rainbow Shell. That's long and annoying. That, that dungeon is very annoying. The forest is in the past. Uh, there's nothing in the Dark Ages aside from the Black Omen. And I don't think there's anything in prehistory. We're definitely saving the, uh... The... Rainbow Shell for the end. Though we can go there now. I do have access to it, because I parked, uh... Or I went to Toma's grave already. And I believe over here is where the, uh, the Cave of the Past, or whatever it is, in the DS version is. Ozzy's Fort. Come on in. This is the great Ozzy's place. What the- Oh, you, you're the great Magus. You're doing well, Ozzy. The nerve, deserting your fellow mystics to go serve those humans. You're a traitor. You're not our king. Why did you desert us? This is just kind of like a mini Magus castle. Or Magus' keep or whatever he refers to it as. You pesky, low-down, good-for-nothings! Oh, I'll have you begging for mercy! Flee! Not actually dead. Did you send for me? Well, if it isn't Sir Magus, who'd you bribe to get in here? Traitors like you deserve a beating. Oh, great Ozzy, stand back and let me take care of these cretins. I'm counting on you, Flea. Oh, blah, blah. Get ready for a slapping good time. Get it? Not really. Flea plus.
Learns dual tech red pin. Interesting. Dual tech line bomb. I'm at the point where I could pro. Well, actually, yeah. Once you get all the techs for every character, you can learn every move aside from the stone triple techs. Oh, just you wait. We'll teach you a lesson. Howdy. You're nothing but common thieves. Anyone who trusts to do my treasure is looking for a very cruel death. And away we go. Ozzy did not think through this, like, structure, I guess. Uh, Ozzy's in a prickle. Out of here. You still haven't given up? Well, how about a good thrashing? Slash! You rang? Slash, don't let me down. At first, I really didn't want to slice and dice you, but now it sounds kind of fun. Ready? I like how in the time on the present changes in Medina's village. The time on pre the. I like how the time on the present changes in Medina village for Ozzy's descendant. Yeah. You'll you'll see that when I'm done here. It also makes it so we could buy really good weapons, uh, easily. Ouch! Come on, sweethearts! Gloom Cape, Gloom Helm, Gloom Scythe, or Doomsicle. Mmm, delicious Doomsicles, and a Magic Tab. Oh wait, let's give him the Magic uh, Tab as well. He's worth it. Don't you want the treasure box? Probably fill with goodies. Found the treasure. Oz, Oz, he's stumped. Out of here. I think Magus doesn't even need the amulet anymore since he gets status immunity from his helmet. Really? Wait, wait. Protect status. Oh, you're right. Well then. Kind of give him something that just fucking destroys him. Um... Magic ring would probably be a good choice. Look, give the amulet to someone else. I believe it's just a potion. That's oh, a full ether. <laughs> not so fast, friends. I'm not going to make it that easy for you. Ozzy Pants. Flea Vest. Slasher 2. These unique items make us invincible. Oh, I forgot to bring, uh... I forgot to bring, uh... Ayla. Whatever. They can do their own triple tech, if I'm not mistaken. And dual techs, though they're not as powerful. If I'm not mistaken, though, their triple tech can fuck you up. 
Actually, that kind of fucked Magus up right there. Yep, yep, yep. Six two six. It's my birthday. Oh shit. He doesn't have multi heal. Delta Force Three, three monster technique. That's a little painful. Bad impulse three monster technique. Oh god, that's a single target. That's gonna fuck him up. Thankfully, Luca has fire resistance, so we're kinda okay. Can I just preemptively select this? Because we know I gotta use it on Frog again. But yeah, you could steal all their weapons that they mentioned at the beginning, you can actually steal from them. And they're pretty good, but not necessary to beat the game. Yeah, I think attacking Ozzy's like the worst kind of uh, strategy to go through this because he'll always do like the triple tech counter. It's probably better to just go after uh, one of the other two until they're down. Okay, now it's probably better to spice it up a bit. Especially since Flea is a... Uh, berserked now, so I don't think even if they could uh, do a double tech, they're not going to do it anymore. Oh, you don't even have to beat the other two. Neat. Yeah. 
What in the? Dash ring, sight cap. I believe that's, what is that, blind and speed? Prevents chaos, ooh, that's actually pretty good. And dash ring is speed plus three. Yeah. It's all, he's, he's okay. Oh, he does have a full heal move. Shit. Why didn't I think of that? Also, is Magus not the strongest party member I have? I think he is. Oh no, Chrono's 40. I still need to keep him in though, because he's got a few more techniques. He got, he's gotta he's gotta learn. Yeah, he's he's still two away from everyone else right now. Magus, you lied when you said you wanted to create a world of evil. You used me! Oh, how dreadful. Say, can you hear that? It sounds... it's the sound of the Reaper. Hmm. I can't lose. What will become of my mystics? I must win. <laughs> gotcha! Adios, amigos! I need to send you back down one room before. Never! You will never defeat me! No, no, not that switch! What was he even trying to do? The cat saves the day. He ends up becoming a party member after all. Top 10 anime betrayals. After all that... After all that trying, the cat finally comes through for us. Hey guys, long time no see. What's up? Gonna run a ferry between Truce and Medina soon. Work is brutal. I'm the leader of Medina. Make yourself at home. The name's Bandu. I'm here to build a ferry between Medina and Truce. Y yes, sir. I take pride in cleaning up. No, I'm not slacking off. Cat is indeed OP. This work is brutal. So somehow by making Ozzy fall down a pit, uh, the mystic survive, but he becomes subservient. I don't get how that works, but whatever. It's so peaceful. Grooving on life. Hey, this stuff's mighty tasty. Ten G per night. Care to stay? And now you can buy the weapons here for cheap. It's so peaceful. Hey there, how can I help you? Uh, of course, none of these weapons are strong enough now. They're all outclassed immensely. Though I will buy three more rev revs, three more full tonics, and another shelter. 
Oh, actually, I could sell the weapons that I don't need anymore. Oh, these are actually better. Some of these are better than uh, what we already have equipped. Sight cap is better for Chrono. Uh, probably should give it to. Uh... No, I probably should give it to Robo then, or Chrono then. Glow Helm. Load Helm is better on Robo, and well, we'll give it to Robo. Will you take the helmets or the dress? What, what do you mean? Oh. I don't know. Um, I could have sunglasses. Oh, that's the helmets. The helmets are sunglasses, aren't they? Great weather. Yeah, Rasha. Hey, wait up. Great weather. Why do I always get stuck doing this? Oh, the Black Omen, the Black Omen. We will smile on the Black Omen always. Sunglasses are a separate thing from Taban, if I'm not mistaken. You know what? I think you're right. Because he takes a shard of the rainbow shell and makes it. Alright, so. We fixed the Mystic Village. I think it's time we finally tackle this area. I believe for this we're gonna want Marl, and f we'll keep Magus in the party as well. This, I believe, is Luca's side quest though, technically. Because this starts like a whole chain reaction of events. Sunken Desert. There we go. If I'm not mistaken, the enemies here are pretty damn rough. But they hate water, which is why I brought Luca and, uh, or Marl and, uh, Frog. And also Magus is really good too, because he has ice. Water hardened sand defense power down. There we go. It's very interesting how Frog gets his own variation of water, which is just straight up water, whereas Magus and uh, Marl get ice. Water is just ice juice, exactly. Double cure. If ice is so good, why isn't there ice too? And you know what? If water's so good, why isn't there water too? Full ether. 
Yeah, this is why I remember this area being annoying, because like every two steps you get into a battle here. See, Magus is a good. Magus, like, as a party member, is pretty OP. Just because he's strong physically and he covers every elemental base. So, he essentially covers every base aside from healing. And since every other character can pretty much learn a healing technique or two, it's really not necessary for him to have it. So, like, skipping out on getting him is, is really pointless. He's not much of a team player. Yeah, as, as uh, evidenced by the fact that he gets no double techs at all. He gets no double techs, and I believe his only triple techs are ones you get from stones. Like, I know the black stone is, is for him. It's for him, Marl, and Luca. And I believe there's one with him and Frog as well, but I'm not sure. Magus learned Dark Mist. I believe that's a poison spell? Damage enemies with Dark Mist. Oh no, it's just another dark energy. Ups Malice, Magic Defense, Black Hole, Power of Life and Death. So he's almost finally caught up to everyone. One more spell and he'll be uh, at par with everyone else. An Aeon Suit. That's pretty outdated by this point. Or not. It's better than the load vest. It's just more dark magic. Kind of pointless since you learn dark matter two, st uh, two steps later. Yeah. Yeah. Full tonic. Be this. Retinite, he's behind this new desert. How to slay the monsters within the earth? Tis a very difficult task. Five thousand G. One full ether. Memory cap. Muscle ring. Oh, he already has memory cap. Helm. Wait, sight cap prevents lock. What does sight cap do? Prevents chaos. Mm, both good. Memory cap is good for him. You must confess that whenever you play Chrono Trigger, you call Frog Pepe. Ugh. And another Aeon Helm, which, again, kind of outdated by this point, I believe. Aeon Helm, Memory Cap, Gloom Helm, Tabin Helm. Because they all have these, which aren't as... Oh, well. Mmm. Mmm. See, the thing is, the Tab and Helm is worth keeping because it gives you 10 magic defense. Same with the Tab and Suit. Because it's, and again, speed plus 3. 
All the tab and stuff is really good for her. And surprise, it's the boss from the beginning of the game on the bridge, again. Because recolors are fun. Now if I'm not mistaken, water doesn't actually damage it, but it lowers its defense to the point where now you can hit it normally. And I think doing it mm, absorbing energy from the core. power up when attacked. So it's another one of those balancing acts where it's like, okay, hit it with water, I hit it with something else. Oh jeez, good thing I don't have Chrono here. You would have been fucked by that. circles. Don't do that. And of course, we've got to worry about Frog now, so we gotta revive him. done this. Mmm, good shit. Good shit right there. Fucking. Fucking. Come on, dude! Give me two turns in a row so I don't have to do this constantly. Uh. Laughing emoji. There you go. I knew I was saving those lapises for something.
Wait, oh no, wrong character. Uh, double cure. Restore all his HP and stats. Good, 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 good. Go, go, go. Oh, that's a good heal. That's a good heal. Reminds me of the first boss of um of uh Secret of Mana. Because you're in a pit and it's it wanders around and you fight. I get I mean that's all the bosses in Secret of Mana, they wander around while you're fighting them. But the fact that you're in a pit fighting it kinda makes me think of that. Healed like most of the damage I just did to it. Be nice if it didn't go every turn. You also fight enemies in pits in the game Pit Fighter for Super Nintendo. Well, that name is pretty apt then. Not in frog, not in frog, not in frog. Okay, good. Thank Christ. Too bad the game's shite. I have never even... I don't think I've ever seen anything from that game before. Wait, why did it say damage enemies with lightning? Okay, good. I actually did physical attacks. Critical would be nice, guys. Come on. I think defeating the core first makes the rest harder. I'm starting to remember this now. Like, that purposely makes the game harder if you do that. Because now they attack more. So you get about two good hits in before it wears off. Please, please. Ah. Oh, wait. Wait, what? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong character. I was looking at Frog. Oh, fuck. That means I healed Frog when he already... Ah. Shit. No, don't, don't, don't. Oh. God, you... 
Son of a bitch. Books. Oh, really? Really did the exact amount it needed to to kill Marl? It's good shit. And when I say shit, I mean like actual shit. Like that was not good. Ugh. Not okay. Not okay! No, stop. Stop. You already got- you already went. Just fucking stop. It's shite. Get rid of it. No! Come on, dude! You piece of shit now- oh, good. Now everyone's down. Ugh. Great. Well, I hope I survive till I get a full bar again. And I hope I can heal after that. I'm fucked. I'm fucked six ways from Sunday. Absolutely fucked here. Because he's going to go twice, he's going to kill Magus. Now it's down to Frog. Frog's not going to revive in time. We're dead. It's over. There we go. There it is. All the time I spent down here, wasted. Completely wasted. Good for me. Good for me that I got to go through all this again now. I gotta equip all that shit again, and I gotta go through all the enemies again, and I gotta fucking struggle to get the friggin' box! I remember the first time I played this game, I had a lot of trouble with this part too, and I hated it. Okay, this time, we ignore the core, and go for the legs. Yeah, it's clear that having three ice users uh, at once isn't really smart because you only need to use it once for the defense to go down and then it goes down for two hits. So, maybe switching it up is a smart idea. So, what can I talk about? Uh, I saw Avengers the other week, which, man, that was a good movie. I was not ex- well, no, I was expecting it to be good, but I was not expecting it to be probably the best, like, Marvel Cinematic Universe movie. 
of, of, of like, all of them that have been released so far, and it certainly was. Thanos was a very interesting villain. I liked how the movie focused on him just as much as it focused on, like, everyone else, essentially. Like, it very much was his movie. And I felt that was really neat, like, despite the fact that he's obviously evil and needs to be stopped. The, the movie gave an interesting focus on him as a character. And I think that works out. It, it's... It, it made him a lot less one-dimensional than a lot of the other villains in the movies, because... Marvel villains aren't exactly the most, uh... Fleshed-out characters. Generally. You don't really care about the Marvel movies? Yeah. It's kind of hard to get into if you're, like, not super into them. I was not super into them, but seeing a few of them made me, like, really want to watch more. I will say you cannot go into Avengers 3 without seeing at least a few of the other movies beforehand, because they do not take the time to catch you up. That movie starts, like, right after one of the other movies in the series. I have no clue what villain that is. Oh god, I gotta go through all this again. Who did I give the Aeon suit to? I'm some Spider-Man comic. I actually have no clue. What'd I do? Oh, shit. Whatever. Okay, I need to think this through carefully. I need to figure out who to keep in the party and who to toss. We could keep Magus for the ice. We'll put Chrono in. For, uh, what is it? Crosscut. And we'll get, um, someone in for healing. The only one that can hear multiple, he'll hear, heal multiple is, uh, Frog and Robo. And you know what? It's probably better to take Frog out and put Robo in. Okay, just gonna do some menu strats there for a second. Manipulate that RNG. RNG! Yeah, I know the image you're referring to, I've just, I've never seen it. Or I've never- I don't know what villain that is. I've seen the image plenty of times. You can't do crosscut without Frog and Chrono, though. Oh. An unforeseen earthquake, perhaps. Meh. Not tonight. He's behind- But monsters that traveled the underground are impossible to find. You need Frog for Crosscut. Alright, fine. The Magus is out. That's good, because then we have both of the multi-healers in it once. The problem now is that, though, I can't do that without sacrificing a turn.
Also, wait, isn't, um... Isn't Robo's magic defense kind of shit? It's definitely lower than it should be. There we go, wall ring. Uh, I don't want to set this up again, though. That's the problem. Maybe I could just eke my way out and then rush back in. Because we got all the treasure. I just don't want to go through the trouble of having to farm each of those chests again. At least this way I could just run to the end and only do one or two battles. Or none. I guess they stay dead. Robo Chrono, Frog Chrono. Oh, hmm. What the? Why didn't that work? Okay. So this time, let's avoid hitting the core. Because I think that does make the fight harder. Oh good, it did nothing, because that was a lightning element. There you go, Chrono. No, I think its defense is going back up while the core is still there. But I can't be sure. That did no damage, but it was water, so it didn't uh, negate the uh, lower defense. Ah, uh, fuck. Alright, well, now it's gotten harder. So essentially, destroying the core early makes the fight harder, quicker. Thankfully, now we've only got one enemy to worry about. And that enemy's attack can't even hurt Chrono, because Chrono has a uh, darkness absorbing armor on.
But of course, I couldn't get a single move out before it kills two of my party members or one of- What? What? Oh, why the- Okay. Whatever. Fuck you. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, you can't do shit to me. Why do you have sl Oh, it's because darkness inflicts a uh, HP drain, doesn't it? That would be the case. God, the multi heals in this game are not good. Go, 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 triple, 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 triple. Okay, we're good on HP right now. There we go. That's some good shit. Alright, Robo will heal. Frog will water, and then we'll try that again. Actually, no, Chrono will attack, because just having him wait is pointless, because by the time we get to the next thing, he'll get his uh, a turn back already. Okay, we're getting the strategy down here. We're getting somewhere. Oh wait, they have low- uh, I have to raise the MP again. I forgot to refill Frog before the fight, but I'm... I actually refilled him during it and it still wasn't enough. Yeah, I'm gonna have to full ether him. In fact, I'm going to full ether Robo as well, just cause... I don't want that healing to run out. <laughs> Strategically time this so that uh he still has like a slightly defense down there. Oh, never mind, I beat him. So yeah, the defense down was two turns, and what it would be uh was after the first turn it would like be halved and then go back up to full. Now the desert des the de de oh Jesus that word. Now the desertification should stop. Let us inform Fiona. A little frustrating. Some salt was spilled. Ooh. Power tab. I wasn't there before. Thank you for routing the beasts. Unfortunately, it'll take centuries to revive the forest. I wish I could live long enough to see my wish come true. You can come for me when the job is done. 
May I stay behind and help Fiona? Alright. All that salt will make it hard to revert the desertification here. Yeah. You know, I, I didn't mind that you pulled up all my flowers, but did, did you have to salt the earth to make sure nothing would ever grow again? So yeah, now you get to see Robo work in the fields. He tills it. I believe he also acts as a scarecrow. There he's spreading seeds and wearing a cute little bandana. I believe uh, there's like two or three. Yeah, and then he also is a scarecrow. And he just works for, a, for 400 years without stopping. And now, there's forest everywhere, and a new building. This is Fiona's shrine. Here we give thanks to Fiona and Robo for replanting the forest 400 years ago. The remains of the lofty Robo are enshrined in the inner sanctum. Here's a hat made from a magical bow filled with mystical forest powers. Sight cap, memory cap. So, alright, so these are, um... So these are essentially the same items we've had already. But there's also a vigil cap, which just prevents all status. And it's expensive as fuck. If I buy four of them, that's all my money. It's also not too much higher than what we already have, so... I might just say fuck it and not get him. Well, wait, who needs who gets the biggest benefit from it? I'll buy one from Marl just because she needs it the most. She needs that she needs that defense buff. Oh wait, I actually have shit here I'm equipped. Oh, well, no, not for her. This quest is very interesting, because now I think it switches perspective, and it goes mostly to Luca at this point. Systems reactivated. Wh where am I? So I guess he doesn't work for 400 years, he just works until he gets rusted, and then we put him there. Ah, uh, Chrono, how nice to see you. For you it was a quick hop, but for me, 400 long years have passed. The effort was worth it. The forest has grown back. Now, let us celebrate our 400th year reunion. After 400 years of experience, I have come to think that Lavos may not be responsible for the gates. What do you mean? I have come to think that someone or something wanted us to see all this. The different events over time that we have witnessed it is almost as if some entity want us, wanted to relive its past. Aelin, though, when people die, elders say, see whole life pass by. Tis true that mortals do relive their most profound memories before death claimeth them. Yet those memories most often are sad ones. Thinking things like, if only I had done this, or I shouldn't have done that, triggers unpleasant old memories. Will that happen when our time comes? Probably. Who knows? Is there a point in time you'd like to return to, Luca? N no, not really. I'm sorry, was that something I shouldn't have asked? It's okay, it's just something I don't like to think about too much. Lavos playeth an integral role in the fortunes of this entity. 
So, who is this entity? It is unknown whose memories these are. It may be something beyond our comprehension. Our journey may come to an end when we finally discover the identity of the entity. Shall we turn in for the night? It's clearly homeostasis trying to get us to balance destruction and chaos by rebooting the world. God, that was an unsatisfying ending to a series of movies. Fucking Digimon, man. I believe this is a red portal. Did I make it back to that moment? 624 9998 AD. Dad promised to go hiking with me, but blew me off again due to his work. I hate science. I loathe it. That's two days before my birthday. The password is the name of my lovely wife. Use it in an emergency. Is this thing? Tabin says to keep away from it, but it's so dusty. I'll just. Dear me, my skirt! It's. I'm. I'm stuck! Luca! Luca, help! I can't pull it out. Luca, enter the password! Stop this machine! But I don't know it, mommy. Enter password. L A L A R A. And it stopped. Thank goodness, Mommy. Oh, Luca. Luca. And now she's back upstairs for some reason. Seven twenty nine nine hundred ninety AD. I feel like I've learned something. I'll study machines now. There'll be no more accidents around here. Luca, you've got a kind heart. You're always thinking of others. This is for you. It's a piece of amber I created using the sap from a tree in my forest. It took 400 years and a lot of pressure to make. I hope you'll find it useful. Got one green dream. Robo, you're so sweet. Wait, what? Do I oh, I have to bring that to a uh, tabin, don't I? Right? Or, or... Green Dream. One time auto reanimate. Oh, never mind. Hey, Luca. I'd like to see more of her. I'd make items that she liked for burr burr. And now, if you go upstairs, her mom can walk again. Because, like, they don't really tell you that her she was in an accident. It's kind of up to you to see that moment and realize she was in an accident. What a beautiful day. I'll finish the housework and take a walk. So essentially, we just changed- we just changed the future. Completely. Ah, 
Are you one of Chrono's friends? Another quiet one. Don't be shy, dear. What a beautiful day. The black omen sure sparkles in the sun. What a great day for laundry. It's been there the whole time. Lock is such an uncommon status ailment, it's not even worth keeping them. Alright, so I forget where to go next. Let's see what other side quests I have. I don't want to do Rainbow Shell. Rainbow Shell was a very long and involved one. And that's definitely the longest. I think the uh, Sunstone may be the next uh, one to do. What do you think of the Nintendo Online stuff? Um, well, here's the thing. We knew it was coming. We knew that the free online was only a temporary situation. It still feels kind of lame that like, if I want to keep playing ARMS and Splatoon, I'm going to need an account. But I feel like if the experience online is better, if I don't get dropped as often, if the stable, if the connection's more stable, if they start introducing more servers rather than peer-to-peer -peer networks for games, then I'm all for it. I will gladly play, tw uh, play, I will gladly pay $20 a year to have a stable internet service with the Switch. More than that, like, I know people are kind of, like, iffy on the whole Nintendo online, like, the NES games online. I see that as just a bonus. I see that as a bonus for using the online service. And I'm completely fine with it. Um, <coughs> granted, the lineup isn't that great. And again, NES is kind of a limited resource. Like, I would say SNES would be a better starting group to work online with. And they originally said it was going to be NES and SNES games. And now it's just NES. So, I don't know. I would, I'll say this, though. 20 NES games at launch on the virtual console would cost you 100 bucks. Here you're paying $20 a year for a service, and you're already getting those 20 games with it, so... I can't really complain price-wise. If that's how Nintendo wants to do it, that's how they're doing it. And yeah, the money better go to better servers, that's, that's all I'm saying. More servers, because the thing is, a lot of Nintendo's games don't have servers, they work on peer-to-peer -peer network. Which means, the second that someone's one person's connection, like, drops, everyone else is gonna suffer. <laughs> Um, I am happy cloud saves are going to be a thing, though I wish we didn't have to buy the service to unlock it. I am happy about the... I guess that's it, really. There's really not much more to it, to it than that. Um, I will say that the family account thing is really nice, especially if you're able to connect accounts, because they said... As long as one account is paid for, it can be used on multiple switches, and that includes family accounts. So, if that means that just, like, one per- like, out of every group of friends, one person is just like, I'll buy a family account, seven people go in with me, and we'll each pay, like, four bucks for it, then there you go. If- as long as you have, like, eight people to sign up with, you're essentially getting a year of online for four bucks, as opposed to twenty dollars for a single account. And I find that's much better, because then, like, you know- if, if you have, like, three people using a single Switch, it's already worth it to get this, the family account then. Especially since the family account is less than the cost of two single accounts. So I think that, like, as long as you're able to do it among multiple systems, it's a good idea. Because then you're able to get the online service for much cheaper. And I don't know why Nintendo thinks that people aren't going to abuse that. I hope that they leave it open for that, because... Oh, that'd be pretty great. Not having to pay 20 bucks a year for online. I think they really want people to form family accounts with it. If everyone isn't family. 
I mean, my friend already said that he was like, oh, I'm going to sign up for a family account. It's only $15 more, and I get to bring seven people into a year of service for me. How would I identify that anyway? Well, I mean, it's not like family family. They just mean it's an account with multiple accounts attached to it. So who knows? We'll see the limitations. We're actually going to find out about that next week. Uh, next week, the Switch is going to get an update that allows you to create the family account. So we'll see how that works out. You wish you had a Switch? I will say it is definitely worth the money now. I mean, you've already played Breath of the Wild on the Wii U, so you probably won't get as much value out of it as I have. But I did not play... I did not have a Wii U, so Breath of the Wild, uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, those are both games I did not get to experience on the Wii U. So they were well worth my time on the Switch. ARMS and Splatoon 2 are great. Uh, Mario Odyssey is amazing. There's a bunch of good, like, downloadable indie games... Uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, which I didn't have, on the, again, no Wii U, so that's something I'm looking into eventually. Same with Bayonetta 2. Like, I know a lot of people are kind of upset that the Switch is getting a lot of ports, but the ports are selling on the Switch. They are selling a lot more than they did in the Wii U, and quite frankly, I missed out on all the Wii U's good games, so having them on the Switch is just kind of like an extra bonus for me missing out on a whole generation of console. I would say if you already have Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U, don't bother getting the Switch one, because really all you're getting out of the Switch one is a battle mode, which isn't that fleshed out. There's some fun modes, but it's not like, you're not going to be spending a whole lot of time playing it. And a couple extra characters to play as, which again, Mario Kart 8 already has a pretty beefy roster as it is. But uh, Mario Odyssey is very much worth a Switch at this point. Stuff is moving quick, especially near E3 time, yeah. I think Nintendo wants to get a lot of the, like, a lot of the boring stuff out of the way before E3. Like, obviously, the Nintendo Online stuff isn't something to present at E3. That's something that we should know about going into it, and something that should be known already. And thankfully, we do know it now, so we don't have to worry about it. E3 is going to be focusing on the games, and only the games. Mario Kart 8 Switch you would get for the multiplayer. I agree that that's a good idea, but at the same time, Mario Kart 8 is probably the worst online-enabled game of the Switch library so far. It, without a doubt, has the most drops, connection errors, and slowdown, and, like, lag of all the games. That's why I'm really hoping that it's one of the games that gets fixed when they introduce the paid online. Alright, well, he's just gonna repeat what he says, but I'm gonna get a basic overview of what I can do right now. He's gonna repeat the ones I haven't done. Future, so that's Robo's Special Stone. That's in the future as well. Ghost of a Lofty Knight, that's worth doing for Frog. Rainbow Show, we're doing that last. Oh, we're actually not that, we don't have that many more to go. We'll do the two more that are in uh, 600 AD last, because they're without a doubt some of the most difficult. So we'll do the two in the future now. By the way, uh, there is a trick with the Black Omen, which I probably- I may have mentioned last stream, but I'm not doing that trick. I'm gonna be doing the Black Omen once and only once. So, the trick is, the Black Omen exists in 12,000 BC, 600 AD, 1000 AD, and then 2300 AD. And what you could do is essentially go to the future, which I already did because this was a single battle, then go to the present, beat Black Omen there, Go to Middle Ages, beat the Black Omen there, and then go to 12,000 BC and beat the Black Omen there. Yeah, if you do it in the future first and work your way back, you could do it multiple times, but if you do it in the past first, then it erases it from the future. Which, I will be erasing it from the past, and I'm going to be starting with that. It's, it's a lot of EXP, but going through the dungeon three times is not worth it. So, the two side quests, I believe one is... Well, wait, what? Hold on. There's this island. So, there's three islands I couldn't reach before. There's this one. Is this the Sun Palace? Yeah, no, we don't want to be here yet. That's the one I'm going to do, but I want to check out the other two first. Because I'm confused as to why there's two more islands. 
Get the red mail. Oh yeah, that's right. This Genodome, alright, that's, um, Chrono, or Robo's side quest. So what the hell's up here? Is it just the Sun Shrine, really? Or Sun Keep? So this exists in every time error, we've already seen that. However, the Sun Palace, for some reason, only exists in the future. But given the design of it, I would assume that it's part of, um... It's part of the, like, Dark Ages design. Uh, is it weak to water? I think it might be. I might have to... God damn it. Alright, um... Actually, no, I should probably... What's his magic? 27? As opposed to Magus, who has a 63, so... Red Mail. Son of Sun is a puzzle boss fight. Yeah, that's right. Attack the right flame and damage it. I will bring Luca as well. Because I do believe there is natural elemental affinity... Like, if you're Fire-type, you take less damage from Fire-type moves and more from Water. So, that's essentially like having two parts of a good team right there. I like keeping it organized. Everyone's 40 except Marl! A Faded Hour. I honestly forget what to do once you're done with this. So this is the Son of Sun, which is the name of the next Metal Gear Solid game. And it's a puzzle boss fight. You fight one of the, um... Yeah, you, you hit one of the flames, and if you're wrong, it hits you. And then it shuffles, which randomizes it. Very annoying. Very, very annoying. Yeah, and that's the only way to hurt the boss. The nice thing is that once you know which one uh, hurts it, you can hit it until it roulette, roulette spins again. Yeah, I know where to put the Sunstone, I just forget what happens after you're done with it. Uh oh. Oh! Oh, that was a shadow move, that was weird. Okay. But yeah, you can't- the only way to damage is by hitting the right flame. Uh, here we go. Back to bullshit. Yeah, you can see Luca only took a little damage there. Nice. Wow, I picked- I picked the ideal uh, armor setup for this fucking fight. Son of Stone's losing its our Son of Sun is losing its fire. Son, why did I say Son of Stone? Hmm. 
Metal Gear Solid 6, Son of Sun, and then Metal Gear Solid 7, uh, Son of a Gun. A little piece of the Ocean Palace. Is it Metal Gear Solid Son of Sun Boktai? Wow, that's actually really clever. That that is a good that's a good uh a good follow up right there. Yeah, it is. It technically the Son of Sun is, is Django, the Solar Boy, <clears throat> and that series is a Metal Gear Solid like inspired series. Which, by the way, I will be streaming that later this year because um since I'm doing the Mega Man Battle Network games as their 15th anniversaries come up, I figured. I might as well do Boktai, too, because I've already streamed a bunch of Metal Gear games, and Boktai has crossovers with Mega Man Battle Network, so it's like, it's perfect. It has the two elements right there that say I should stream it. In fact, I've already got the games uh, set up with a solar sensor patch, so I do not need to use the solar sensor. This is the Ancient Sunstone? It doesn't seem to have an ounce of energy left in it. We could probably recharge it with sunlight, but that would take aeons. If only we could time travel. You got the Moonstone. If only there was a Jigglypuff around. If only we had some way of charging something for thousands and hundreds and millions of years. Also, when the Epoch starts taking off, that, like, that noise, that's totally the noise from the beginning of Castlevania Symphony of the Night, when you pick a file. It's never dark in here. Leave the Moonstone? Yes. Well, back to the Epoch. First one works pretty nicely since you can just change the time in the menu. Second one's a bit more fucky to play emulated. Well, here's the thing. I have patches for all three games that lets me uh, manipulate the solar sensor whenever I want. So, it's much easier to use. I remember there was one... Uh, back in the day, I played Boktai 3 Fan Translated. And the solar sensor patch for that was literally like... If you press the button once, it would drain the entire bar. And I was like, oh god. Now they made it so you have to tap it each time to make it go up and down an increment. But if the in-game time is night, charging the solar sensor doesn't really do anything. No, that's not true. If the in-game time is night, it works just the same as always. Plus, I'm always going to stream it between 7 and 10 p.m. anyway, so I could always just set it during the day. It's gone! The moonstone is gone! Looks like it's been gone for ages. Let's try another time period. Magus is one of your favorite lines here. Well, let me switch it then. Because he doesn't... I don't think he only talks if he's in character spot, too. Now, I believe it's in 1000 AD. Does the GBA ROM take PC system time? Because I don't remember that. Well, the GBA version, you set the time in. Wait, go back. Go back. That line there was it. Oh, what? When you check that it's missing. Oh, okay. Might be gone forever now. Oh. Yes, but you can only change the time when you want in the first second. You can only change it once every 24 hours. Yeah, but I'm not going to be changing it. Yeah, it's not here. I didn't know you could check the spot again. No, 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 no. I don't want to go to... Uh, fuck. I went to Apocalypse. Thank God you could back out of this. Hmm, how frightened are we? 
Run away. Run away. That was weird. It, like, gave me the option twice. Yeah, that's totally the noise from Symphony of the Night right there. That's the noise when you when you pick the thing at the beginning and it goes... When you pick your file. Where the fuck am I? Oh. Watch the Nova Skeletons, dude. <laughs> I might stream something the night sometime. I've only played through that game once. Here it is. It hasn't been gone for long. Let's take a look around. Ah, oh, well, never mind. I guess there's nothing there. <sighs> he says something like, "It tells me the it tells me the stone's been missing for exactly thirteen hundred years." <laughs> I believe it's. Wait, where am I? Where the fuck am I? I gotta go left from here. Gee, I wonder why this house is sparkling. You're interested in the Moonstone? Well, someone simply left it here. Seems important to you folks. Why don't you take it? Yeah, give me that Moonstone. Share and share alike. Help the needy. Thinking about making that the town motto. So yeah, if you remember at the very beginning of the game, I brought his descendant in 6 or his uh, ancestor in 600 AD, the Jerky. And that's why uh, he's so nice now. Because he was an asshole at the beginning of the game. Hey, Mayor, eat a beef jerky. You're not you when you're hungry. No, but that's the thing, though. You don't you don't give him the beef jerky. You give his uh, ancestor the beef jerky. Really, though, I think it. I think Magus's comments are kind of sarcastic, because he knows that the only time period you can go to are one thousand and twenty three hundred. So that's why he'd be like, "Oh, it'll be ready in exactly this amount of time." Amazing. With this much energy, I can make a powerful weapon. Let's go back to my house now. I'll modify the sunstone to extract its energy. Then, we'll just vacuum pack it into a cartridge. Oh yeah, this gives her the, the dream shot or whatever, right? And it's finished! Just makes him sound like a big nerd and I find that hilarious. Wonder shot. You don't hear that victory jingle a whole lot in this game. Sometimes I amaze myself. Take a look, Luca. I borrowed a bit of the sunstone to create something nifty. Wondershot. Damage can vary. Look at that attack boost, though. Jesus. It is a gamble, but one that I'm more than willing to take. So what does sunglasses do? Or sun, whatever they're called. Sunshades. Ups attack power. That's weird. It doesn't tell you how much it ups attack power by, though. She still only has the basic fist. What level does it evolve into, like... What is it? Iron Fist or Steel Fist or Stone Fist? I know she gets a fist at level 99. Like, like it changes its name. Very late. Uh-oh. Alright, um... I'll put Marl back in the party. Chrono, we don't... See, the thing is, I don't want to use Chrono if I don't have to right now, because he's already higher level than everyone else, and he knows his moves already, so I don't need to work on him. 
Magus should be in, because he still has two moves left to go. Marl is the lowest leveled experience-wise. And Luca, I've just been using a lot, so she's probably close to getting her move. Flare, 66 points. Life 2, 414. Black hole, use the black gem. Alright. Oh, wait, I'm about to go to uh, the future, though, so... I'm probably gonna ditch Marl for, for Robo. You can't use it without Dark Matter. Yeah, I don't think so. See, like, honestly, this is the best point in the game to get to have Magus, because it's just like... He could do so much for your party that he's just kind of the fill-in whenever you have to use a certain combination of members for, uh, quests. Like, here I'm gonna have to use Robo, I know that. Uh, so, wait, how many things are the Black Omen? You will not be alone, I have vague, vague glimpses. Let's see, so there's the... Yeah, there's that. There's the ghost. And there's the object in the middle of ages that spouts shines like a rainbow. Alright. What I will do is it's 9.15, so I have to stop at 10. Um, I will do Robo's quest, because I don't think that's too long. If I have time, I will start Frog's quest, and then next stream will most likely be the end of the game. I'll probably finish Frog's quest, do the Rainbow Shell, do the Black Omen, and then that'll be it. But that won't happen, that definitely will not happen if I don't finish Robo's quest tonight. And if I would, if I can, I would like to get a, get this done tomorrow, because then I could move on to some fun shit next week. So what are we doing? We're going to the future. Epoch ready for takeoff. So somehow, <clears throat> somehow there's a factory all the way out here, even though there's no people. I, I don't quite get that. Like, how did they get the shit from this factory over to the other, um, like the mainland? Oh, this dungeon sucks, if I remember correctly. Who enters here unbidden? Oh, welcome home, R66Y. Or should I say Prometheus? You dare to defile this place with humans? I haven't seen them in ages. Let me welcome them. Come closer. Let's just see what you can do. Debuggist. Okay. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. They came up and gave us a kiss. Proto 4. This is the one quest that doesn't have any implications on any other time period because it takes place in the future, as opposed to the rest which all take place in the past and have some effect in a future era. Like the Rainbow Shell, the Sunstone, that's all stuff that, like, 
slightly affects the future in a way. Force is probably the biggest thing, as well as the, um... Ooh, nice, Luca Lerner Ultimate. Twenty MP, jeez. Gotta save that for fun, fun times. Not bad for humans, but can you find your way to me? Oh, God, this puzzle. Ah, this is the electrical charge puzzle, isn't it? I fucking hate this thing. Uh, alright, so Luca got her ult. I guess Mara will be next. Well, wait, let's let's see who needs the, the least amount of, uh, out of, of TP to learn it. 400, 410, four, same, just so the same amount, 700, alright, we'll do Ayla last, just because she requires the most work, Marl and Frog will be next, and then we'll, we'll do uh, Ayla f last, it's funny because Ayla doesn't have any connection to like any of these side quests, every other character has at least some minor connection to it. Yeah, that's not going to do too much damage to us. Learns dual tech, cure touch. 300 years ago, the Lavos disaster greatly changed the planet. At this rate, humans will die out from pure despair. Lip. Lip. Dude, come on. Don't be a douche. Those are enemies. That's bait. God, Magus is one broken motherfucker. Okay, that's one slot opened, though. Without act with the uh, without the electricity, it's actually kind of pointless. This computer can give us data about the Genodome. Or Genodome. What shall we examine first? Door conveyor belt guard machine doll. Door. To open the locked door, simply charge the energy pods beside them. Energize it first in the pod to your left. Or energize first in the pod to your left and enter the pod next to a locked door. Anything else? Conveyor belt. The belt conveyor to the right can be reversed with a switch above it. Guard machine. The robot guarding the figurine will block anyone that tries to pass, but if you place two guards in front of the, each other, they will short-circuit. Return the broken guard to the room upstairs. Doll. You must obtain the two figurines on this floor to fight the mother brain. Do not leave without them.
<coughs> Again, I think I might be overblowing how big this and annoying this quest is. I'm not sure. Enter the dust chute. No, we don't want to go in the dust chute. Elixir. Okay, and that was a trap. Lapis. Eh, not worth it. Oh, this room's a lot bigger than it looks. Mysterious. Just out of curiosity, does Dust Shoot send you back to the beginning? Yeah, it does. Uh, I'd rather not go through all that again. Good thing I saved. <laughs> This way, this way. No, stop. Oh, come on. I don't think that's the right one anyway. There's one doll. Oh. He kindly opened the door for us. That's nice. Tonic, 50,000 G, nice. Brendan. We can already go in there. There's nothing in there. The door over there, I forgot. Oh shit, wait, you gotta go around the entire way? Hold on. I don't think the charge will last that long. Yeah, it doesn't. The fuck? Or is there something over here to, like, open the way? Nope. Gotta switch the belt's direction. Oh, that's right. Do 
do that. Maybe it's maybe I have to go down first. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure this leads to the end of the du the, like, the dungeon already. Don't you understand? This planet would be peaceful if there were no humans around. And yet you still want to fight. Why? Ooh! Tab. Lapis. Listen well, humans. Lavos' children will one day have to leave to seek new planets and pray. The world could sustain them if humans were not around. We robots will create a new order, a nation of steel and pure logic, a true paradise. Our species will replace you. So stop your foolish struggle and succumb to the sleep of eternity. A lot of money. Oh, this is fucked up. What is this? We have to do something! Ah! Let us stop the machine. It's too well guarded. We have to destroy the central computer. Yeah, this is rather fucked up. Yeah, Soil and Green is people, literally. How that human even get here? So they crush them and turn them into a power tab? Is is that what the implication is here? Or am I missing something? I mean, the little blue light is just kind of a general, uh, like, item on the ground thing. But it's almost always a tab in this game, so... The hell? Why are they attacking each other? Man, Magus is making this area a joke. Yeah, you have to put the dolls there. But I only have one of them. I need- I need more dolls. Oh no, more guards. Magus. Take care of this shit.
All right, now we're going to the top part. Now the pieces are all coming together. Hyper ether, full ether. Okay, move up a little bit. There we go. Come on, dude. Come on, you could do it. Why you get? What the fuck, dude? Come on. Come on, bro. Right there we go. To the left or to the right, rather. My right. What? Are, what are you getting stuck on? I think they might have fixed this in the DS version a bit, because I don't remember this robot being this janky. Finally, my own twin. Now neither of us will be virgins. Ooh, a vigil hat. Isn't that the thing I gave, uh, Marl? Yeah, it is. Welcome home, Prometheus. Atropos. Yes, it has been a while, Prometheus. You can stop pretending now and join us. Too late, I already said it. Pretending? Mwaha. Unlike the other R series, Prometheus had a special task to live with humans and study them as a species. No. Tell them, Prometheus. Now step back, Prometheus. We'll get rid of these humans, then go see Mother. Robo. What are you doing, Prometheus? I will not allow you to hurt them. You are indeed defective. They have tampered with you. I'll destroy them. Then fix you. Atropos, you've changed. Indeed, Mother remade me to eliminate humans more efficiently. Step back, Prometheus. My name is Robo. Prometheus! Wait, stand back and leave this to me. From my point of view, the humans are evil. I love how they just peace out without arguing. Atropos. Prometheus. 
She destroyed my programming, so clearly beating her up her shell will, uh, will make her better. God, Robo, you're so slow. It's like when a TV or stuff doesn't work correctly and you hit it and it works, but with a robot. Actually, it's a good way of looking at it. Yeah, that hurt. Prometheus, it's been ages. Atropos, I'm damaged. What happened? Atropos, my memory bank. Mother must have done something nasty when she reprogrammed me. Partial memory restored. I'm sorry, Prometheus. Atropos, this is for you. You can plug this into your circuits. Please, take care of it. Goodbye, Prometheus. Atropus's ribbon ups Robo's speed by three and magic defense by ten. See, they like knew his, his two weakest stats, so they'll, they'll buff those. And it's cool, too, because it's a permanent buff. It's not an item. At least I don't think it is. Yeah, this is not the same ribbon. I mean, his magic defense is still crap. Oh, actually, no, that was, that was just his magic stat. Never mind. His magic defense is average now. And his speed is still pretty low. But again, now not as low as uh, Marl's. Marl's speed is the worst. Pour one out for Atropos. How do you get in there? This asshole. You did well to come this far. I am the mother brain of the RY series factory. Come, Prometheus, you must once again join us. I'll reset your circuitry and erase your memories. Then we'll dispose of those filthy humans. 
I'm sorry, but I cannot afford to lose anything else. Not my precious memories, or my irreplaceable friends. You would betray me to stay with these humans. You would turn against the family of robots. Humans have taught me much. Chrono, Marl, Luca, Frog, and Ayla. Not that asshole in the corner, though. Fuck him. I will not betray my friends. Magus is like, okay, I mean, I was only the main antagonist for your entire journey, but whatever. Oh. <laughs> this is rich. Don't make me laugh. You have emotions? I'll show you just how human you've become. Oh god, it's hurting my brain. Yeah, by the way, those monitors only have one HP each. Mother Brain left without the display. Yeah, and no, I think her attacks get a little fucky here. Eh, then again. She's very rainbow, yeah. Unlike the crappy hard mode hack in this game where the monitors have 10,000 HP. See, that sounds like just making the game difficult for the sake of being difficult and not to actually make it fun. And that annoys me. Oh, it's not fun, don't you worry. Yeah, I will not be playing that. So basically 90% of decent Mario Super Mario World hacks, yeah, exactly. Breakdown! Wow, that was incredibly easy. I remember this boss giving me a hard time when I first fought it. Pro... Pro me... The us... Why? Got the terror arm and the crisis arm. All machines in the factory have been shut off for good. Robo. Let's go. Wait, no, 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 no. I want... I, I didn't get that chest. Damn it. Terror Arm and Crisis Arm. Attack changes below 10 HP. Wow, that's a risky uh, item to use, but the Terror Arm, on the other hand, totally worth it. It's mostly just boring because the game's mechanics are relatively simple, so there's not much other to it than doing damage and healing loops. Yeah, exactly. Why would you want to change, like, Chrono Trigger to just be harder by grinding more? Okay, but seriously, how do I get those items in the in the in the factory? I got to I got to get that those before I go. Especially since it's now 9:48, so I'm pretty much not doing anything else anyway tonight. I'm about to stop, so I'm going to just go back in and get those items. You think the description is wrong? Really? Oh fun. Oh, I can't get them. Shit. Well, never mind. That leaves us with two quests left. Uh, frogs and the rainbow shell. The damage of the weapon that multiplied by the last digit of his HP. Oh. Oh, when they mean below 10 HP, they mean that the 10 and the 1's digits are below that amount. So 10 would be the weakest because it's 0. So if it was 9, it would be the most. It's like that weapon that Luca gets. Where it's the amount of time you've spent playing. Uh, 
Uh, this team looks good for here. Because in the DS version, you get something like that from uh, for Luca. You get a gun, but it's based on the minute of how much time you've played. So if you're at like if this is at like 17 hours and 23 minutes, it's gonna do less damage than it would at 17 hours and 29 minutes. So it's a very variable uh, item. I think I've already been down here in 600 AD. I can't remember how to actually, like, do this quest. Like, I know it's... It involves going back and forth between the two time periods, but... I can't remember, um... When I'm supposed to start. I know that the ghost... Yeah, the ghost is here in, in a thousand. And you're not supposed to fight him now. Grrr! Who could this be? And it clearly says it's Cyrus right there. Can't run away. El Zilch? Okay. Cure him? No. There we go, yeah. My sword hath no effect. Then Cyrus, tis me, Glenn. Whoa, what? Glenn. Ugh. Talking to him again doesn't do anything, right? No, it just starts the battle over. So you don't have to talk to him twice. Uh, reset. Alright, so... Now, what the fuck do I do? enemies down here, unless I've already beaten them. Ah, uh, never mind. I guess they stay dead once you've beaten the enemies here. Well, I have, um... Shit, what do I do? My tools have been stolen. I can't get any work done now. his tools. Or do I get the tools from the future and then come back and give it to him?
Wanna borrow my tools? Be my guest, I'm busy here, so go get them from my wife. Alright, cool. Thanks, dude. You do not know what kind of time causality loop you just created. My husband's never around. I'm gonna show him who's boss next time. Pow, right in the kisser. What? His tools? Oh, hold on, they're right here. In the fridge. Exactly where we keep our power tools. Got one tools. I got a whole tools, guys. Careful with them. When I grow up, I'm gonna be a carpenter just like my daddy. Careful with them tools. You got some tools there. You lend them to a buddy? Thanks a lot. Now I could get to work. Thanks for lending me this tool. I guess I'll start with the ruins. Come on, you lazy blokes. Whatever you say, boss. So the carpenter quadruplets head out to fix the ruins. We're done for now. Can't repair the spots where the monsters hide. Call us after you get rid of them, we'll do the rest. Go on, you lazy blokes. Whatever you say, boss. Why didn't they fix down here? There's no monsters here. I have enough time to do one clear out of this area. And I'm just thinking these guys hit like fucking tanks, so might want to uh, also avoid the dark magic. Yeah, the enemies don't regenerate in this dungeon, because there's a whole, like, thing with you having to clear out them, so that the Copperdirts can move ahead. There's nothing. Oh, there's a chest over there. I think that's one of the ones that, like, you have to go in the past and then the future to do. If you want to know where the ruins repaired? It'll cost you 2,000 gold. Come on, you lazy blokes. He only gives you one for free. That's how he gets you. We're done for now. Can't repair the spots where the monsters hide. Call us have to get rid of them and we'll do the rest. Anyway, it is 10 o'clock. So I am going to call it here. The shelter. Save it. And make a backup save as well. Oh, is that how it is when it, is that how it works with contracting? Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, I'm gonna get going. Uh 
is there anyone I want to host before I leave? And the answer is... Stream stuttering. Uh, and the answer is... Not really. Oh, well, no, so my friend Cyrus is playing Destiny 2, so... If you like Destiny 2, stick around for that, because that's what's happening. Anyway, you all have a great evening. Thanks for coming. Uh, I will be streaming tomorrow as well, and then that'll be it for this week. Tomorrow might be the last Chrono Trigger stream, and if it is, then I can move on to some fun stuff next week. Not that Chrono Trigger isn't fun, but I'm in the mood for some platforming, so we're going to be going back to that for a bit. Anyway, you guys have a great evening. Good night.